Hey everyone, Jeff here, and man, when is spring gonna get here? I'm so tired for the weather, but today I wanna talk to you about a thing called keto flu. Now, a lot of folks that switch to a low carb or a keto diet experience what they call the keto or low carb flu. And what we wanna talk about is the symptoms, but then we're gonna give you some things you can do to help shed it faster, right? Now, the first thing, like I said, it, it, most people will experience what we call the keto flu it, when you switch from carbs to fat burning, right? Now, once again, that's not a bad thing, right? I'm telling you, it, I look at this, it, look at it this way. If you burn carbs, that's like dirty fuel, right? Switch to uh, fat, which is clean fuel. You want to do it. However, like I said, you can uh, experience some discomfort getting started right and the big thing is when you feel discomfort a lot of people quit don't quit push through you'll get through it and then you're gonna feel better than ever but some of the things you may experience when you go through this keto flu are sugar cravings right now most folks will experience that if you if you were a carbaholic like I was at one time you're going to experience sugar cravings right but push through, you'll get rid of those, all right? Dizziness, brain fog, or poor focus, that may be something you experience as you shift from one fuel source to the other. You may become irritable, all right? That can be both discomfort for you and the people around you. Let the folks know what you're doing, that way they can kind of help you out, all right? Stomach pain and nausea, Sometimes you're gonna experience this, and if you do, like I said, you just gotta stick with it. It will pass. Cramps, a lot of folks wake up in the middle of the night with muscle cramps, Charlie horses, all right? Once again, there's ways to fix it. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Muscle soreness, you may have unusually sore muscles, even if you're not exercising, and, and that may, like I said, it's gonna cause some discomfort. And then insomnia, uh, when you first start this thing, you may have some trouble sleeping. Now, how do you fix this, all right? The fix are right over here. First thing, you wanna make sure you're drinking plenty of water on a keto diet or low-carb diet. Make sure, I would tell you, try to drink at least 64 ounces a day. And then the other thing is, it doesn't hurt to put a pinch of salt because sodium becomes important, especially when it comes to muscle cramps. Which brings me to number two, you wanna increase sodium, potassium, magnesium in your diet. You may even wanna add a supplement to your diet if you're not getting enough of this in your food, which you probably want, right? Uh, sodium wanna have a, around five to seven grams of sodium per day. Uh, and a lot of folks say, well, isn't that a lot of salt? Yeah, but guess what? You're gonna need it. And if you're exercising, you're gonna doubly need it, all right? So like I said, make sure you get that in your diet. Potassium, about 3,500 milligrams per day. Uh, don't overdo it with potassium by all means, but you, you may need to add some. Maybe eat a banana, all right? Uh, although bananas aren't on keto, so scratch that. Magnesium, all right, magnesium, 35, uh, or excuse me, three, 350 to 400 milligrams per day. Add that to your diet as well, or add that to your supplement regimen. The next thing, eat more fat but in particular i want to talk about an oil that i haven't really talked about in the past but you want to you may want to go buy you some mct oil and, it, and it's basically uh, a type of oil that will help you get into ketosis faster did you just hear that get into ketosis faster mct oil you can buy that at, at most any health store or get online Exercise first thing in the morning for about 15 to 30 minutes. That may help as well. And what I will tell you is if you are already an exerciser, the keto flu will not last as long because you're going to adapt to fat burning faster than someone who doesn't. Uh, so like if you're, you're not quite doing keto yet, it might be important to start an exercise regimen uh, about a month before you start the keto and then get on it. And last once you kind of get through the insomnia, you want to make sure you get adequate sleep, all right? Uh, the more quality sleep you get, uh, the basically the less the flu is going to last because sleep 
is where you recover. And when you get switch from carb burning to fat burning, puts a lot of stress on the body. All right, that's one reason you get the flu. All right, but bottom line is the more rest you get, the more you're going to recover, and the lower your stress levels are going to be. So just know when you switch from carbs to fat, chances are you are going to experience the flu, and that's the keto flu, not the other flu. All right. But if you'll do these things over here, there's a good chance you'll get through it really quick, move on to ketosis, and you're going to feel like you've never felt in your life. All right? Hope this helps. Hope these videos are helping, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.